uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very interesting uh, interview question it's a uh, bit difficult for a perspective of a facers maybe uh, a tougher side but let's solve uh, intuitively okay without writing uh, not writing so many of equations okay so this is may seems like a huge circuit so just simplify it okay one by one so you can see there is a constant current source i not you can assume any value let's say this i not may be some let's say one micro amp okay it can be any value just as if it is some finite value like this and there is vdd uh, you can assume let's say vdd as 5 volt and we have all of these mosfets and we have a rc section and we have to plot v out waveform okay so you can see uh, where this up signal uh, is connected and the up signal is looking like this and down signal is looking like this okay so this is down signal so we can assume this q1 and this q2 is nothing but a switch okay so q1 and q2 are nothing but a switch okay so they are acting as a switch and we will be assuming ideal switches so the r1 of q1 equal to r1 of uh, q2 will be zero okay they are when they are uh, like one okay so zero ohm, so ideal switch and when they are off so r off of both of the transistor becomes infinity okay so q1 q2 are switches and they are ideal switches okay we will assume that okay so now you can see that uh, so it, it is a dot connected device let's say this q3 so it will uh, make a vgs air so you can see this if this is q3 let's say this is q4 so this q3 and q4 is current mirror okay and this is a similar device so uh, like this is identical device of q3 and q4 so this current will flow through this branch as well okay right so this will be i not as well now you can see that this let's say this q5 and q6 okay q6 uh transistor so you can see again there is a current mirror kind of thing because here a v sg is developed right so again this q5 and qc becomes in current mirror okay so this i not will be copied here okay and again let's say this lower mosfet is q7 so again it is one is to one so it is if it is one so it is, will be one as well okay so these two becomes I, I identical as well okay so if this current is i not so the i not current will be flowing through that branch as well okay so actually uh, this uh, except uh, like this q and q2 are the switches and all of the MOSFETs are acting as a, like a current source. Okay, so we can make the following circuit as the uh, as the following circuit. Okay, and we have this up and down signal. So accordingly, we have to make to uh, we have to plot the V out waveform. Okay, so actually all of them are uh, current sources. So I can really neglect all of the things and making this kind of phenomenon. Okay. Okay, this should be a T MOS, then should be a N MOS. So this is up signal applied here and down signal applied here. And there is another MOSFET. Uh, so another current source and the current source will be same as this as this I node, right? And when it's I node, when uh, uh, so it will be I node, yes. Okay. So then we have a RC, uh, we have a RC branch like this, and we have to comment what is the V out. Okay. So this becomes our simplified circuit. Okay. So previously you have this complex circuit, and we can see that this uh, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7 are nothing but a uh, current sources. So we can replace that. Okay. And this Q1 and Q2 become switches, and we have a RC branch. Okay. So now I need to copy this waveform. And let's say pasting here. Now go into the intuitive portion. So, so this is zero and this is VDD. And let's say this is our TSW switching, uh, and it is on over. Let's say switching frequency FSW. So this is the time period of the switching, and you can assume this with this width and this width is nothing but 
let's say 20 percent of your uh, uh, tsw right we can assume that okay 20 percent of your tsw so you know so when let's say so this is a p mos and this is the n mos so when you can see let's say up to this t time period of okay let me okay so let's do here okay This is a V out, okay. Okay, so you now you can see. So when this, when the PMO switch will on, when the up signal becomes zero, right? When up signal is zero, then your this was i think q1 this was q2 so q1 switch will turn on right turn on so it will act as a short circuit right so up to that time period and when down signal becomes uh vdd or 5 volt then your q2 will turn on okay unless it will be off and unless it will be off okay so in this time duration from 0 to that let's say tx time we can see uh, your PMOS is getting uh, gate voltage as 0 volt and your NMOS is getting 0 volt at its gate, right, the down signal. So, we can see that this Q2 will be off and Q1 will be turned on, okay. So, at this time duration, let's say this is TX time duration, this time, not TX, this will, let's say T1, okay. So, let's say this is T1, okay. So at this time duration, what will be your uh, equivalent picture? So you will have a current source of I naught here your VDD, and this uh, Q one is turned on, so it will be short circuited, and this one is this uh, Q two is turned off, so it will be open circuited like this, and here is a current source. Okay, and now you can see here a RC branch is present. Okay, so what will happen now? So this is a transient phenomenon. Okay, so this is transient phenomena. This switch is uh, turning on and turning off in the transient, right? In the time domain. So this current will suddenly flow through that branch, right? As no current can go through that branch because this is open circuited. Okay, so all of the current has to flowing through that branch, RC branch. So now here the a voltage will develop. So how much voltage will develop? So a constant current is flowing through a resistance. So the voltage drop across the resistance will be nothing but I not into R and a constant current is also flowing through a capacitor. Then what is the voltage developed across this uh, capacitor? So it will be VC and this is nothing but 1 over C integration I not DT and as your uh, I not is constant, so it will be nothing but I not by C into T, right? So it will be T1 from, from this case, right? For this case, right? So this voltage is actually developing, right? So the voltage suddenly goes to higher. So at t equals, let's say this is some time. So at t equals 0 plus, at t equals 0 plus, what is the uh, uh, voltage across Vc? So Vc will be 0, right? As our initial condition, initial condition of the capacitor was 0 volt, okay? So it was previously uncharged completely. So at t equals 0 plus, your Vc becomes 0. So at t equals 0 plus, your V out is nothing but only IR, right? This IR, okay? Like I not R. So it will be jumping. So it will be jumping at uh, from T equals 0, from 0 volt to I not into R, right? Then it will try to increase in the ramping manner, right? Like as your T is increasing, as your T is increasing, your voltage will be increasing like that, ramping manner. Like the voltage across the resistance is constant. But the voltage across the capacitance is increasing linearly. So V out, if you write a KVL there, V out will be nothing but uh, VR plus VC. Now this is constant and it is ramping up. So this V out will be ramping as, as well, as well, right? So it will be ramping up. Let's say this value goes to here. So I am not interested in the exact value of this node. It depends on the T and the capacitance value. So but we don't interest like we have to, like no interest about to like to find the exact values okay we have some intuition and we have some wave shapes that's all okay 
so it will be like that okay so this is the tx value now at this time you can say your you can see this is zero volt the pmos is turned on and here your uh, nmos is also turning on because it gets vgs right like the, it, it it gets high voltage here right it's get high voltage here, vdd so we are assuming that it is develop some vgs that making it turned on okay okay right now so previously we are assuming that it is getting some vsd so that it is turned on at when this is zero and now we are assuming as well when this uh, voltage goes high so it is turning on this q2 okay so now your equivalent picture let's say this is t2 time so from t from t greater than t on to less than t2 what will be your equivalent circuit so equivalent circuit will be nothing but the following so both switches will be sorted right and both current will flow as i not i not okay now here we have same rc now tell me what is the current flowing through this branch so if this is i not and if this is i not now if you, if you write a kcl there so you will find there is no current flowing through that branch as well right suddenly okay when your both um, switches are turned on no current can flow through that branch okay flowing through this rc branches so the current flowing through this let's say ic uh, like the, this branch is zero right so suddenly your current becomes zero okay so there is no issue so what will happen suddenly your vr will be nothing but zero volt right because your ic becomes ic is zero and your r is finite so zero into r will be zero right now what about the vc so vc the like as this is open circuit it will be looking like the following okay so we can assume this is there is no current okay so now this vc can hold this pvs voltage okay whatever it is stored previously so it will hold as voltage and this resistance becomes our circuit so your v out becomes vc and your vc cannot change like it can hold this pvs voltage so it will hold the pvs voltage like this thing okay right it was previously uh, i not by c uh, i not by c in, into t1 okay so it will hold this previous voltage so what will happen it will hold this previous voltage up to t2 okay now what will happen after that so again you can see now your pmos is turning off now right because this your up, up signal getting a vdd here okay so this pmos this pmos now is turning off and what about nmos and nmos is getting the zero as well okay zero volt as gate so we are uh, and both of the both of the mosfet is getting off right uh, like suddenly after t getter okay let's say this is uh, so this is tsw right this is tsw so when your t is greater than t2 and less than tsw so then your both q1 and q2 is off and here and it and previous case q1 and q2 both one okay both are one and at the first case i try to make or like forget to write this so your q1 was turned on and q2 was turned off okay so now if both this is turned off so what will be the case so here is i not and this is open circuit again this is open circuit and here is i not so similar case it will like it will hold this previous voltage right because no current can flow through that branch as well because these two currents this current and this current is become zero like no current can flow through that yeah, branch and your rc is getting zero current as well okay so again it will hold this previous voltage okay right so it will hold this previous voltage it is nothing but one by c i not into t on okay so same voltage will be hold so there is no current but here the both of the current through that branch that branch like th this branch is getting zero okay now so it will hold up to that thing now what will happen after that so again you can see your this voltage is getting zero your uh, your up signal is getting zero and your down signal is getting zero as well up to that let's say this is t3 okay this is t3 now you can see that uh, previously it was at this voltage the output voltage now 
your PMOS is again connecting like the PMOS. The Q1 switch is again conducting. Okay. So now if you plot at t equals t greater than t s w and less than t three, so your Q1 is conducting again and your Q2 is off, right? Because your VG like the down signal is zero volt and your up signal is also zero volt. As it is PMOS, it is conducting. Okay. So now how it will behaves? So it will. So it will be the the equivalent picture will be. Like the following, so it is conducting. This is V D D. This is I naught, and here is this kind of thing. Actually, this current is also zero as that a switch is not conducting. Just this is the equivalent picture. Okay, just don't don't get confused. Okay, so again it will charge, but how much it will charge? So previously it was some charges, and then in top of that it will be having some another. Voltage across it, right? V out. So it will be nothing but I R plus again the previous voltage of I C V C of zero, like previous, and plus on over C I C into T three. Okay. So this voltage will be the case. And again, again, as it was in the in this case, so it will rise again suddenly, and it will be ramping up like this. Okay. And again, it will hold up to that next two TSW. Okay, so this is two TSW, right? Two TSW, and this will continue. Okay, so this is TSW and this is TSW. So now I am ramping up, like conclude, concluding everything. So this was our circuit. Uh, this Q5, Q3, Q4, Q6, and Q7 acting as a current source. And your Q1 and Q2 are the nothing but a switch. Okay, so we we just redraw a like uh, reduce the circuit and we get this type kind this kind of circuit. Okay, where it, the switches Q1 and Q2 is controlled by this up and down signal, and we have analyzed uh, the circuit using this up and down signal, and we are getting this kind of phenomenon. Okay, so this kind of waveform, and it will be continued. Okay, like if we, you go for your TSW. Uh, 3 TSW, so it will be increased value. Okay. So this is your complete circuit. So I am drawing to another color. Uh, let's say. So suddenly it will go to I into R. Then it will be ramping up due to the capacitor, as only the uh, Q1 transistor is on. So PMOS is conducting. Then both of the MOSFET is conducting. So no current can go through the RL branch, the RC branch. So it will be. Uh, like the rc branch will be getting zero current so it will hold its previous voltage okay so it is zero current i c so it will hold its previous voltage so both are on and when the both switches are off then again the i c becomes zero so again it holds its previous voltage okay now for the next cycle from uh, t greater than t s w to t 3 again it will get a sudden current at instant but it was previously charged some voltages So it will be again jump up to some I into R, then it will jump up into I into R again, then it will be ramping up again and it will hold for the two TS W and this continues. Okay, so this with I R is same. Okay, and this with I R is same. Okay, and as TS W T three uh, like that, this duration and this duration becomes same. Okay, so this voltage. Will be the twice of this voltage. Okay, understood. So if this is V X, it will be two V X. Okay. So this is the thing, and slope will be same for the both of the case because everything is same. So your slope will be nothing but I not by C here. Okay. The slope will be I not by C, and here will be I not by C. Okay. This slope, the ram slope. Okay. So I think this is a pretty good circuit and very intuitive as well. And actually, this type of circuit you can find. Um, I am saying the practical uh, point of view. So you can, if you study the charge pump PLL, okay, charge pump PLL, you will find this kind of architecture. Okay, this is actually a charge pump block. Okay, okay, thank you.